Welcome to Butterflies of Wisdom, everyone. By the time you hear this episode, it will be Wednesday because we're switching the format a little bit um, due to my life is getting crazy again. And due to I'm teaching, this will be my second to last year teaching in a private school, but I am going back to school, so I can't produce a three-a-week podcast. And so it will be Wednesdays and Thursdays that the podcast will be. Butterflies and Wisdom will be. The podcast isn't going on hiatus. When is going on a little bit of uh, hiatus. But enough with my programming announcement. I'm going to let Brooke Kevin take it away and explain why she started podcasting and why she got into this medium as well. Hi, thank you so much for having me. You are so welcome. And so, Brooke, would you please give a medium synopsis of your bio to my fan base? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the client relationship manager for a company called Get Featured. Um, Get Featured helps podcasters get awesome trained guests and helps guests deliver a powerful story to their listeners. So what I do personally is I pitch my client using a custom designed bio to top rated podcast shows that uh, match their ideal audience. And um, once I pitch them and they confirm that they want the client. We schedule the interviews so that the client doesn't have to spend time going back and forth with the host, and we help them avoid getting rejected because, you know, who likes getting rejected? And uh, yeah. once the interview is scheduled, we help prepare our clients so that they can rock the mic and sound like a superstar on the show, and we help them create a compelling call to action so they can turn the listeners of the show into hot leads. And then we also, once the interview is out, we help promote the interview to our social media following, which is over uh, 67,000 right now and growing. Yeah. So you are the happiness manager of your company, basically. Yes. Yes. Happiness manager. I like that terminology. I'm feeling that um, from Elsie Escobar, who's the happiness manager over at Lipson. And for those of you who don't know, Butterflies and Wisdom is hosted on Lipson. So, yes. And so basically, if people can't necessarily afford your services, what would you say to the podcaster that wants to come on any podcast, including mine, how would they go uh, about doing that? Because I typically pitch people like you, and nine times out of ten, people were so fascinated by butterflies and wisdom and my story that they say yes, but I typically don't get pitched. I wish I got pitched more, but what would you say to people that can't necessarily afford a VIP concierge podcast in service? Um, I would say uh, usually everyone something, has something very unique about them, and finding that one unique, like, real, like, punchline to your pitch is really important in helping getting people's attention. Um, so, for example, say you ended up uh, traveling a lot and you met a bunch of different celebrities, Maybe when you're pitching yourself, you can create something creative from that and use that as the line in your email as you're pitching people to grab people's attention so they're more likely to open the email and see your pitch. Okay. So use a captivating email subject. See, you taught me something that I need to now implement in my pitching people. So what has been your favorite success story in all this? Um, from getting our clients on shows? Yes. Um, so we've had, actually, we got challenged by one of our clients. We've never um, done this many shows, but he challenged us to get him on 
45 shows in about three months, and right now we're up to 38, and we still got the rest of August to go, so we're almost reached that goal, and once we get that for him, that's going to be major for him and us because it's something that we've never done before. How cool is that, a new cutway in the, in the cap? So, yes. book, what is your favorite book? It doesn't have to be business-related. It just has to be a book that you go back to time and time again. Um, I have two favorite books. One is The me Outsiders, too. and the other is To Kill a Mockingbird. They both bring me back to my childhood. The Outsiders was the first book I can actually – remember enjoy reading and kill a mockingbird it reminds me of spending time with my dad because we both love the book yeah and so why did you go in to this vip happiness manager ball was it something that called you you don't have a degree in marketing do you I have a degree in communications and public relations, which is similar, but no okay. degree in marketing. Okay. So why did you go into this role? Because it sounds like a very unique role and never a dull moment. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I actually ha- had an internship with my boss that is my boss right now at a different company, and then she ended up leaving and creating this company, Get Featured, And thankfully, she remembered that I did great as an intern for her, and then she brought me along for this crazy ride. I never knew that I would be going into something like this. Well, how cool is that? So your boss essentially gave you you, your job. Similar to how I got my teaching job, I was lucky enough to go to the uh, school where I actually work at as a student. And so I was riding my bike past my principal's house, and I – principal's at the time house – and then I stopped, and he was mowing his lawn. <laughs> and I said – I was like, asked him, I said, do you have any job openings? And he goes, you did email about that, and – we responded, but you never emailed us back. So I'm like, okay, let's do it now. And then I also had a tragic loss in my life after, before I got this job. And so I went back to my school where I was a student and got the job. And now I'm a teacher's aide. I just retired from preschool, but um, from teaching preschool, and now I'll be teaching music for the next two years or so I hope, and then I'm going to become an independent writer slash podcaster. That's awesome. So basically, your story is similar to mine. It's all about networking, 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 who you know. It's not necessarily about linked leads, and it's not necessarily about the VIP podcasting companies. I mean, there's a ton of them out there, but it's all about who you know. hmm Absolutely. And so how does your process work? Because I'm actually working with a smaller podcasting VIP company right now, and they gave me a Google Doc and said, what would you like to speak on? What days are you available? And we'll book the interview. So far, they've booked me one interview, but then it's August, and so a lot of show producers take a vacation. Yep. I so a lot of how does – it's a lot of vacation. How does your system work? Do you work it through Google, or do you work it through a different system? Yeah, we use Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, Google Drive, all of it's on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all of it's on there. So if you were going to send a prospective client 
uh, intake packet, it would be a Google Doc. Oh, I would send them in, in an email usually. Uh, I would send the subject as the title of the show and podcast booking. And then in the email, I would say, this host wants you on this show. Here's a little bit about the show, like from the iTunes description. And then I usually send them their booking link so then the client could book themselves on the show. Okay. So because most podcasters have – a booking link. I don't like the nuts because I don't. And so what does it look like from the podcaster's end now that we know what it looks like from the client and say if a podcaster like myself wants to come on and start using your company, could you help me as a podcast host or no? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have a few clients that do have their own shows, and we pretty much take a a similar approach as um, all of our other clients, and it's easy to get them on shows as well. Well, that's something for me to consider because as my life gets crazy, I might need your fairy godmother assistance here, Brooke, because (laughs) um, the – Absolute matter of it is, is because I'm going back to school to get a fashion journalism degree. So yes, I'll be a fashion journalist. But it's interesting how many podcasts there are out there, and that leads me to my next question: What is your favorite podcast? Or you, you don't have time to listen to podcasts personally, do you? Oh, actually, I do. I mean, I listen to pretty much every single show that my clients go on just to give them some feedback and just make sure the audio sounds good and everything. And um, two that I look into the most are, uh, well, they're not ones that my uh, clients are necessarily on, but these are the ones that I enjoy the most, um, are Create Your Own Life with Jeremy Slate and um, Can I Pick Your Brain with Daniel Geffen. Uh, they're both about entrepreneurship. They have a ton of great guests that give a ton of actionable advice for everyone to take. They're really awesome. You should check them out if you haven't heard, yeah. heard them. Yeah. Create Your Own Life by Jeremy Slate is phenomenal. I need to pick that one back up again. And yeah. so if you had to be educated by anyone, who would it be and why and what would you ask them? If I had to be, excuse me, it had to be what? Educated by anyone. Oh, educated. I would definitely pick uh, Richard Branson. Um, You know, he's been an entrepreneur since his earliest years, and he's tackled and dominated countless industries, and he's pretty much built uh, nothing, uh, built something from nothing, and continues to, like, think outside the box. He never lets adversity bring him down. And he really just keeps on pushing and thinking until his goal is ultimately achieved, which I think is awesome. I think he'd be an awesome mentor. And if you had to pick one technology tool, what would it be and why? Okay, so this cool this tool is awesome. It's like a hidden gem. It's called Hunter.io. You you can put any um, URL into the search bar, and it will come up with emails uh, for people that I'm trying to, like, look for. So say I'm trying to get in touch with a podcast host, so I go onto the podcast website, and then I can't find their email anywhere. So I go onto hunter.io, and I put their URL for the podcast website into the search bar and search, and it will come up with different emails for the people I'm trying to get in touch with. It's awesome when I'm trying to pitch my clients. How cool is that? And now, you explained that your boss essentially got you a job, but what was your reasoning behind accepting this offer? What was Um, your why behind getting into the podcast film in the way you do? Well, I thought it was really cool um, because I'm basically the influencer behind another influencer. And 
the work that I do really shapes the opinions and feelings that the public has about my clients. So I think that's an awesome. That's really why I want to do it. So you're the secret weapon behind all of the this work. Yes. You're the fairy godmother behind all of us that um, makes us look good. And as you guys know, I use Calendly for my calendar scheduling system, but I may use work in the fairy godmother services <laughs> because um, it's going to be crazy here and I don't want <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. I don't, <laughs> even though I have a personal assistant, I don't want to do it anymore. But, um, I love the podcast hosting end of it. I don't love the editing end of it. I source that out. I source my scheduling out to my assistant. But I do not want to use Calendly anymore. I, I'm, I'm the typical person that likes Easy end of it, easy. Not um, yeah. go through back and forth via million emails, and so that would drive people nuts about podcasting. This because when they start a new podcast, they go back and forth between a million emails. Why not set up a calendar? Or why not have the say I got another VIP service like book service, and then use them. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely take care of you if you want us to. Well, yeah, maybe that would be something to consider. Now, what if you have a guest that does not share the link? I mean, does not share the link. What do you do to encourage people to share the link of their show? Um, well, that's definitely something we do encourage, I mean, not all do, but to counteract yeah. that, we share the link on our social media sites. Um, my two bosses share it on theirs, as well as we share it on our company pages. And with all that, we have a following of like 67,000 plus people. Yeah. So it gets across that way. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and you can share this one with your company too. I mean, I don't, I don't care what your company sees out of your um, personal interviews. And so where can people find you and where can people get a hold of your company and where can get where people can get a hold of your services? Okay, well, you can um, go to getfeatured.com. That's our company website. And then you could also um, email me, brooke at getfeatured.com, if you want to get in, talk, uh, in contact with me directly. I'm also on Facebook, Brooke Craven, Brooke with an E, C R A, V is in Victor E N. And we will have all of Brooke's information in the show notes. And awesome. that is a wonderful idea, and I'll be sending Brooke this link as soon as uh, probably today, um, because I have time. And so, Brooke, do you have any questions for me? Um, you know what I'm really wondering about is what got you into podcasting? Well, and unfortunately and fortunately, I wrote a book called I Come a Win, which um, still can be found on Amazon, you guys. So if you just type in I, comma, W-I-N, and that's what got me into podcasting because not only were my friends, my family, my fan base supporting this book, I didn't realize that complete strangers were going to ask me, how do you do all this with a physical disability? I thought, oh, boy. They open up a can of worms that now I either have to shut or um, start a podcast or start something, and I can't type a book to – I can't type to save my life. So blogging was out of the question, and I'm like, okay, let's try this 
podcasting thing. But the way I'm going to do it is interview influencers like Jeremy Slay, like you, Brooke, and infuse my story with it. And it's been an amazing ride ever since. I mean, it's been just an amazing ride. And as I said at the top of this interview, nine times out of ten, people say, I would either like to interview you or, yes, you can interview me. I really get a no. I get I'm sick or I'm too busy or you may have to swing back around. But I really get a flat out no. I don't know why that is. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I'm so, so glad that you that, posed this platform to like share your story on. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's how I got into the realm of podcasting. That's awesome. And I appreciate everyone's support as you guys will hear this episode on Wednesday morning, and we may have a special guest on Thursday with someone else. I haven't talked to this special guest right now, but you may get to hear a little bit more about my life with this special guest on Thursday. So I'll let you guys know on the Wednesday if that's going to be so little fine or not. And so I appreciate you guys supporting this podcast. This podcast has been sponsored by Grace by Grit. Grace by Grit is a closing line out of California. So if you want to look and feel wonderful, Grace by Grit is your choice. They're giving you 20% off when you type in the code EXO Butterfly. And I appreciate Brooke's time and all her hard work in the podcasting industry. And you guys, let's go make this world a better place by sharing our messages. And Brooke, what would be your closing statement for this interview? Well, I would just like to thank you very much for having me on. This was actually, even though I've been working in the podcast industry for almost a year now, this is my first interview, and it was a lot of fun. I thank you very much. Well, you're welcome, and maybe you should come out behind the, from behind the curtain more often. And <laughs> so I'm happy that I made you feel so special, and you really gave a lot of knowledge um, and I'll potentially be looking with you in the future book, and I just want everyone to know that podcasting is here to stay. Thanks to you guys. Thank you.